set up and spend a lot of money to see uh, Conor McGregor get beat. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. And a lot of them went home broke. Uh, praise God. Uh, but you know, uh, aren't you glad tonight that you can gather? There's only, uh, there's only a handful. Praise God. But the Bible says we're two or three together. Uh, yes. You know, I, I, I got to looking at that lesson this morning. And if you got your Bibles in Genesis uh, chapter 28, I just want to read one verse. Uh, God was really, uh, I might get into more, but uh, I believe this is a verse, uh, praise God, the time and the hour that we're living in, uh, that this is the church today. They don't even know God's in the presence. That's right. That's right. They don't even know God's in their life. Amen. Why? Because they're not reading, they're not praying, uh, they're not seeking God, they're seeking other things, uh, they're seeking uh, uh, to be a busy boss. Right. Right. Come on now. Satan's got the church so busy, uh, praise God, uh, that they don't even realize God's trying to work in their midst. Amen. Maybe they wonder why they're sick and afflicted, praise God, and, and they're wondering why things are not going right in their life. That's right. Take heed, the Bible says. The signs of the times are here, uh, praise God. Look around. Fall's coming, summer's over, and yet we're still not saved. That's right. Woo, that's something to think about. Praise God. What happens in fall? Things die. That's right. Well, once you start dying out, uh, praise God, to the flesh, you want to do more for Christ. Right. You praise God when you start dying out in this old fleshly body, you get weak. You said we sing, brother. Well, we're all getting old. <laughs> we ain't getting no younger. You said work while there's a wise day. Praise God, hallelujah, it's day. Praise God, hallelujah, soon it's getting darker. You wake up in the morning now and it's darker. You, 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 it used to be 9 o'clock, now it's 7.30. It's getting dark. Amen. Praise God. Uh, and you got to have a light. Praise God. If you ain't got the light of Jesus in your life, you ain't going to work. Right. Simple as that. Right. That's Can't right. say it no simple than that. Praise God. Christ ain't in your life and, and in your heart and the desires of, of the things that you want to see God do, he ain't going to work. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. But the 28th chapter of Genesis. 28. 28 and 16. Everybody got it? And jo Jacob awaked out of his sleep. Boy, in the time the church wake out of his sleep. Yes. yes. Amen. A lot of sleepy Christians. Right. Amen. <laughs> Preacher be up there preaching, right? Well, I've seen before. No. Yep. <laughs> go to work, you don't see them going that. They're joyful when they go to work. Praise God. They got a lot of energy. The devil gives them that energy. Why? Because they got money on their mind. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. But when it comes time to pay the tithes, woe is me. That hand's hard to get bent. When it comes to tithes and offerings, where are you going with this, Jim? I don't know. The Lord knows what he's going. Praise God. Hallelujah. But he said, Jacob woke out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. And, and I knew it not. Amen. Boy, how many people know the day, praise God, the hour that we live in, they know it's not. Right. They don't even know when they come in the church, uh, praise God, that God's in this place. That's right. Right. Why don't they know that God's in this place? God's trying to do a work, not only here, He's wanting to do a work here. Church. Right. Yeah. This is the yeah. temple of God. Amen. And they don't even know that God is in this place. Uh, why? Because uh, they don't get in touch with Him all week long. That's right. right. They don't want to spend some quality time with Him. Uh, they don't even want to have a little talk with Jesus. Uh, they'd rather talk, uh, praise God, to their dog. Uh, they'd rather talk to the <laughs> Act, uh, praise God. They'd rather talk to the neighbor, uh, the teacher, or the doctor uh, instead of having a talk with Jesus. Uh, praise God. And, and the one that can help us, church, uh, I don't know about yes. you, uh, but I want to know uh, that God is in this place. Yes. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. He wakes me up every morning while he, uh, he gives me another day. Uh, I can thank Him and praise Him. Uh, he gives me the strength to go on my way. Uh, praise God. And there's nothing like having a little talk with Jesus. Amen. 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 That was on my heart. And Kelly sang that song, uh, praise God, it ain't always about being on the mountaintop. Uh, sometimes uh, you got to go through yes, the valley. Uh, praise God to get stronger in the Lord. Uh, everybody thinks uh, that they get into a comfort zone. Uh, praise God. Uh, and they sit back and on their road, cold coaster ride. Uh, and everything's going to be smooth and dandy. Uh, all right, praise God. Uh, I'll let God do all the work and I'll bargain with Him. That's right. That's Ooh, right. It don't work that way. That's, that's right. right. Well, God knows my heart. Yeah, I'm sure God does. But if your heart ain't lining up with the Word of God, I'm here to tell you tonight you're a lost sinner. That's right. Amen. That's Say right. it simple as that. Amen. You either is or you ain't. Yes. You either saved or you're lost. That's right. When we stand before Christ, it ain't going to be but, 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 no, 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 no. 
You're going to stand before a man, uh, praise God, at the judgment throne. Uh, when you make heaven your home, if you make heaven your home, listen to what I'm saying. If, Amen. he said, strive to make, strive for perfection. Well, we'll strive for everything else. I've got to have my master's degree. That's right. Ooh, so I can get welding. Come on, church. Right. I've got to get my master's degree that I can be a doctor. I'm glad I ain't got no DR in front of my name. <laughs> Praise God, I was called by the Holy Ghost, uh, called by God and anointed by God, and yeah. I know who's in this house uh, yeah. that I can preach the Word yeah. of God. Hallelujah. Hey, right. Mama called and Daddy sent. That's right. Praise God, I want to see souls. That's my desire. Souls and hearts and lives uh, minister to. Uh, I once was lost, praise God. You was once lost. Uh, aren't you glad and joyful when God uh, brings a convert or someone home to Christ? Uh, yes, hallelujah. Amen. To meet the one that uh, died on the cross for him, church. That's right. That's something right. that you'll get joy in your soul with. That's right. That's something, praise God, that you can have a, a fellowship that only you, uh, praise God, puts that in your heart. That, that spirit that was within you, uh, praise God, that you can lead others to Christ. Amen. Right. That's something that the world can't do. But yet the church is asleep and allowing Satan to take it from them. Right. I was sitting back thinking uh, at work the other day, uh, all the people that were flocking to the football game, Boy, wouldn't it be something, boy, people just get back to flocking to God's house. Amen. Oh, you let something happen now. Listen to what I'm saying. Now, they'll come out of their seat, praise God, when they mention war. Woo, churches will be full. Right. When they're in trouble, well, praise God, uh, they'll come flocking to the churches. Uh, like I said, they want to be barking with God. God, if you do this, oh God, I'll do this, I'll do this. God, please, God, bless me with this. Knowing that they ain't going to keep what they say. That's right. They ain't even going to keep, praise God. They just wanted something, praise God, to barter with, praise God. Uh, you know, when, when I worked in the restaurant, our, chair, our boss used to give us barter checks uh, for a bonus, praise God, hallelujah. And it was a, just a piece of paper, uh, praise God. You you look up something and, and you want to get it, you have to give them that barter piece of paper. To barter with, you was trading all you was doing. You didn't have to pay for it. The boss man paid for it, praise God. But, but I guarantee you, somewhere down the road, he got something free. Yeah. Uh, why did he give it to you? That's right. Woo yeah. uh, listen here, I'm going to tell you something. Why does Christ give it to you? Freely given and freely received. Okay. Woo freely given and freely received. Yes. A lot of people, praise God, don't want to uh, freely give it. Brother Raymond, I was telling you, praise God, uh, don't be surprised this week. Uh, you get a couple phone calls, how much you going to pay? That's right. People want, praise God, to do the things that bring the world into the church, praise God, and, and they want to make a mission off of it, praise God, hallelujah. They want to make a mission off, praise God, off of the things, uh, praise God, that ought not to be, it ought to be freely given and freely received, right. uh, praise God. Yeah. Uh, I know there's things that cost money, uh, praise God, uh, to get the uh, things, supplies, and stuff like that, uh, but my Bible tells me, uh, praise God, uh, if you've got Him dwelling in here, uh, praise God, and you know God's in this temple, uh, He'll supply the yeah. That's right. You ain't got to rely on the word. That's right. right. A lot of these people come, oh man, I love to hear her sing. Oh, I love to hear them sing. I got to have one of their tapes. And they're the meanest root and thing that you ever heard. <laughs> they ain't got no plan to praise God anytime soon to give their heart to the Lord. Praise God, hallelujah. They just love you can sing like it in there. But if God ain't in it, praise God, hallelujah, it is going to have no effect. That's right. You're going to be a little That's right. That's, That's right. all you want to be. Praise God, hallelujah. I know I watched some of them in Gabby's, uh, when she was in band, praise God, uh, them little kids get on them cymbals, uh, praise God, it ain't wasn't a big instrument, but sometimes, uh, praise God, you get carried away. <laughs> Wanted to, wanted to be seen, Brother Randy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ain't playing that big, but I won't be seen. <laughs> Praise God, that's how some folks are. Praise God, if they ain't seen, uh, praise God. Uh, <laughs> ooh, praise God, hallelujah, don't mean nothing. That's praise God. They're asleep. They don't allow God. Praise God. They got blinders on. Their eyes are open, but they're blind. That's right. They walk on the ground in a fog, in a daze. Praise God. When you get sleepy, what happens? You're going to close them eyes. Right. That's the time to lay down. How the church is laid down. Praise God. But I read here, how, how many of y'all got pillows? I was going to bring a rock. <laughs> I mean, go home and try it one time. Get yourself a rock and put your head on it. That's right. 
You don't know how luxury you are. That's right. Praise God to have a nice firm bed, a nice firm pillow. Praise God, some like a soft, some like a medium. Uh, praise God, but lay your head on a, a rock. Praise God. See how it feels. Praise God. He said that was a rock that followed him in the wilderness. I'm gonna get us something. Ooh, I got to doing uh, dates here, praise God. Back then they had a custom, uh, like we were talking this morning, that they go back 30 years, 20 years, uh, and they go back to that same place, uh, and they do that same dedication, uh, praise God. Uh, but if you get to reading dates uh, like this, uh, he said that he took that rock to Jerusalem later on. That same rock that he had, uh, and he made a head for his pillow and an altar. Ooh. <laughs> I like that, that's his altar. Are you carrying your altar? Amen. <laughs> he took that altar, praise God, and he took it to Jerusalem. And from there it went broad and wide. It went to Ireland. It went to Scotland. Praise God. It even took up, praise God, uh, it said it went to Spain. It went to Ireland, Finland, Scotland. Uh, it was supposed to be the very stone that, that the kings of Scotland, praise God, uh, set on, uh, praise God, uh, and got king. That's something, church. Amen. That was a precious stone. You got a precious stone. That's right. Christ Jesus. Amen. The stone. He's everywhere. Amen. He's the only one I know that can be all over one place and know the very thoughts of every man in this in this world. That's right. Ain't nobody else in the world can do that. No. That's right. He knows every spirit. Yes. I see a lot of spirits. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. This hour and time and this world that I've been in. I've been around a lot of spirits. So. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just uh, had a little bit of experience of that, but I ain't going to get into it. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> we just started getting the Word. Yes. It said the Word. Praise God. The Word. Praise God. Shall deliver. Amen. The truth is a set free. Yes. Praise God. Uh, when you start letting the Word, praise God, get in here. God. But that's the trouble today. The church. They don't know when God is in the place. That's right. That's right. They just come together. Have their big old uh, organizations, uh, praise God, any old thing and every old thing goes on and God is not in the place. That's right. God's trying to move, uh, praise God, hallelujah, but they got their programs. Mm -hmm. Well, at 915, we'll have some, so to sing a song for us here. At 830, we're going to take up the offer. Brother James here is going to sing a special with Don Fern. Well, 10 o'clock, uh, we'll let Pastor come up and preach from 10.15 to 10.20. <laughs> That's about how it is anymore, praise God. Get me in and get me out. Right. <clears throat> praise God. Why? Because you keep them any more than an hour or a half an hour, you'll see them sitting back there, uh, praise God, in the pew, uh, not paying no attention. They're either doing this uh, or they're... Yeah, okay, I heard that before, Pastor. <laughs> praise God. Have no desire, praise God, to be in God's house. Amen. Sleepy, lazy. Why? Their heart's not right. That's right. If you had a desire to be in God's house, praise God, you'd want to hear God's Word. It's precious. It said it was precious in those days. Yes. It's precious to me, church, uh, praise God, because it's what keeps me uh, and what strives me uh, to go on, yes. to help others. Right. I've always said you can't help a drug addict or alcoholic unless you've been there. Right. You can't help someone lost, praise God, unless you was lost. Right. How many of all lost in here? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So see, that's your job to help help somebody. That's right. Praise God. People got different gifts, praise God, to help the church. Uh, different people out in the world, praise God. But today, God's trying to tell them, hey, come on, witness to them. Give them a word, praise God. And they'll sit there and they'll say, well, 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 well. By the time they're saying, well, that person's done that. <laughs> praise God. They missed out probably on the greatest opportunity. Greatest, greatest opportunity, praise God, uh, to give a, a, a witness and a testify a, 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 a to them uh, to let them know, hey, this is what Christ did to me. This is what Christ can do for you. Praise God. I, I know a man called Jesus. Who? I know a man called Jesus. Amen. How you know if you don't see him? I believe. Yeah. I believe, praise God. I believe. I got to the point of, praise God, hallelujah, I believe when I pray, church. I just don't uh, let words fly out. I'm believing. Right. Amen. I'm, I'm having my faith, uh, praise God, exercising my faith, uh, praise God, hallelujah, that I can say that I believe, praise God, uh, even when I don't see things uh, 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 move, uh, praise God, but I still believe. That's right. Sometimes we want it now, then, and now. Sometimes God says, you got to sit back and wait. That's right. Our faith sometimes it ain't up here, it's, it may be down here. That's right. Why? Because we just walk in the flesh. In the flesh. 
Where are you getting at? You sleepy Christians? You come in here, praise God, expect God to do something, God will do something. That's right. He said, send me yourself together, praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Even so much the more when you see that day approaching. What day? The day of the coming of the Lord. Uh, praise God. He's coming, church. Uh, hallelujah. He's coming. Uh, praise God. Look at the things of the world uh, that are taking place. I never thought 20 years ago I'd see riots in the street. I never thought uh, 20 years ago that people just walk up and shoot somebody. That's right. Praise God or stab somebody. Amen. Uh, uh, I know I, I read in the Bible that he said through uh, 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 persecutions, uh, praise God, hallelujah, through the church and the Christians. I read about it. Uh, but I didn't know I'd be standing around uh, watching church folks uh, get persecuted and, and praise God have to give their life for Christ. Amen. It's time to wake up, church. Right. Sleep time's over. That's right. You know they have them sleepovers? The kids that have sleepovers, churches that have sleepovers. <laughs> praise God. They, they come in from Tuesday night and then Sunday night, Sunday morning, praise God, they're still waking up from Tuesday night. Well, I can say that if you're here. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. It's a shame, church. Amen. I know there's times we have to miss church, praise God, even with our kids and stuff, but I got to the point, you know what? If they got to sit in the back pew and do their homework, I'd rather do it in church yeah. than be at home. And look at it, praise God. Nothing I had to do with them. They didn't turn out bad. No. I had a girl tell me the other day, don't you tell me, Jimmy, that your kids ain't never did drugs or alcohol. I don't believe that. I don't believe none kid, no kid, nobody in the world would have done that. I beg your pardon. I can show you two sitting in that back seat back here. Praise God. They never had tasted, never uh, smoked, uh, never drank. Praise God. Amen. It's only through the prayers. Yes. Praise God of the saints and, and the right. prayers of mom and dad. Right. And it's on their part. That's right. It's on right. their part. Taste not, handle not, touch not, the unclean, unclean. Right. Why? Right. Because I still, praise God, believed. I wasn't asleep. I knew God was in the presence. I knew God was in the house. You go to some people's church. Uh, well, yeah, you go to the church, you go to the home, and you tell God he's in the house. Right. So what are you saying, Brother Jim? You just watch what's on TV. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can't even watch TV now, praise God, hallelujah, with someone running across the screen, uh, praise God, in a pair of underwear or bras. That's right. Praise God. That's why I don't watch it that much anymore. If I do, it's at nighttime, praise God, hallelujah. I, I like to uh, uh, watch the TV, watch me sleep. She's always, cut that thing off. Why? Because it puts me to sleep. Pick something that don't interest me, praise God, and watch it, and 20 minutes later, I'm out. Praise God. That's how the church folks are today. Praise God. They look at the pastor. Don't interest them no more. And they're asleep. <laughs> don't want to hear God's word. That's right. Why? Because they're so content in their comfort zone. They're not willing to take their altar everywhere they go. That's right. They're not willing to pay the price, the sacrifice. Some are even too ashamed. Too ashamed. Well, I would testify, but I... I you know, they're real close friends to me. I might say something that offended. Christ said a lot of things that offended a lot of people, but didn't stop him. That's right. Praise God. When you do it out of love and sincere, praise God. Hallelujah. They're going to hate you. I know there's times I've said something to the people over at work and even in the store. I'm just that kind of person. Praise God. Uh, God lays something on my heart. Praise God. Uh, and I get to talking to them and witness to them. Uh, praise God. I'll ask them, how's your relationship with Christ? They'll look at you like, what do you mean how about relationship with Christ? Yeah, are you saved? You know Jesus Christ? Praise God. Some people don't even know how to get saved. Amen. Never even been taught how to pray. Right. The only time they want to pray is when they're in trouble. Oh, Lord, dear Jesus, like I can say, there we go bargaining again. Lord, if you get me out of this mess. <laughs> Lord, if you help me, praise God. i got to come up with $500, Lord, by the end of the week. And then they'll get to pondering and wondering. Well, how can I get this? How can I get that? Instead of just relying on the Lord. 99% of the time, uh, it's their own fault. Because God wasn't in the place to begin with and they didn't listen and they got the I wants instead of I needs. God needs you. God wants you. That's the only time uh, you can really say that you need something that you want something. I want God and I need Him. That ain't good English. Praise God. I, I want it, church. I want it working in my household. Yeah. Praise God. He's the one that allows me to sleep at night. I don't sleep good anymore, church. To be honest. Yeah, it's treason. You give me three or four hours, I'm good to go. 
Praise God. She's always yelling at me. Why are you going to, why don't you lay down here and go to sleep? You ain't got to get up so early. You yeah, always heard that say, uh, uh, up before the chickens? Uh -huh. I think I'm way up before the chickens. I think I'm even up before the bats go to bed. Praise <laughs> God, hallelujah. But she'll get on me. Praise God. Are you sleeping in slumber? He said, sleep not in slumber. And we see that the hour of the day we're going. Just look at the, look at the world. The world's a mess. The church is a mess. Amen. Right. And it's a shame. You know people that once were in there and praise God and they loved, loved the Lord. Uh, praise God. And, and, I, and I hear that, well, God knows my heart. No, no. That's right. Yeah, He knows your heart. Yes, He does. If you had a heart after God's Word, praise God, you wouldn't be out doing the things that you was doing on Sunday morning. You'd have a desire to be in God's house. Amen. I've always said, how can you be disciplined, discipled, unless you come to God's house? They'd rather go out and get discipled on all kinds of other stuff. Praise God. Hallelujah. i got to go to the Amish country. Go have a fall fest. Now you see the city of God's. Fall fest everywhere you go. Down Maryland. Up here. Down there in Cumberland. All over the place. Fall fest. Got them all set up. The big bouncy houses. Praise God. A platform me and Teresa were somewhere. They had a stage that was probably as big as this church. And I was like, oh, what are they having over here? And Teresa said, it must be fall fest. They can have fall fest all year round if they wanted it. It ain't got to be that one certain time. Praise God. Why? They, they want entertainment. They want, they, want, they want the things of the world to, 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 to please them just for a moment. God said, I'll please you every day if you, if you let them. God said, I'll bless you going in and, and bless you going out. Amen. When you're blessed, praise God, you'll be pleased. That's right. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I go on, you go on and read this, and, and, and not only did he take that rock, praise God, he, he put oil on it. He put that oil on for the anointing. That's right. Boy, has the church lost an anointing. Amen. Ain't too many anointed ones anymore. <clears throat> praise God. Hallelujah. Why? No dedication. That's right. No dedication. He said, I, I, I beat it not at the air. We fight against principalities and powers uh, in high places and wicked places uh, that we pull down the strongholds. Uh, he tells us, you know, we fight not against flesh and blood. Now that we're living in the day, there's a lot of flesh and blood people fighting against. <laughs> Why didn't old church? Instead of going back to the original things that let us reason together, they want to hold a grudge. Back then they used to call them grudge matches. Got a lot of grudge matches going on in the church. Right. What was that Bible said? Tree said that word this morning, hatred. You might as well just murder them. I can't stand that person. I don't like that person. Well, praise God. If they're doing something for the glory of God, hallelujah. Get in there and back them up. That's praise right. God. Hallelujah. Don't right. right. sit there and run them down. I always told uh, 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 Bob over there at the shop, you got something to say to me. And that wasn't just with him, that was so many other ones. You got something to say to me, say it to my face. The Bible says, bring it before the church. We had to do that a couple times being treason. We had to bring things before the church. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it, praise God. But you go on down that, and it's called the house of God. The house of God. Well, you know, you see the churches all over America. <laughs> church of God. Yeah, that's just a name they put on the building. The Church of God. This is the Church of God. Right. This is what He wants to fellowship in. This is what He wants to abide in. This is what He wants to have fellowship with. Why does He want to have fellowship with this? Uh, praise God, because it's you one-on-one -on -one with the Master. It's you one-on-one -on -one daily having conversation. Uh, praise God, just like you. Uh, I pray you talk to your wife. No go in the other room and shut the door. Praise God. Uh, I pray that you talk to your wife and husband. Uh, praise God every day to, to tell them that you love them. Praise God that you need them. But my, how many of the church folks uh, in the world today don't even tell Christ, hey, I need you and I love you. You lost your first love. But just stop and think. Do something to think about. You that are in here that are over 50, you had to take that rock. 20 years later, carry that thing around with you. Or leave it in the same place. 
I said this morning, praise God, hallelujah, if it was back then as it was, uh, back then as it is today, uh, a lot of you wouldn't find that place. That's right. Man's destroyed so much stuff and moved so much stuff and built uh, so much stuff, uh, praise God, and that's the trouble with the church. Uh, they're trying to build too much, uh, praise God, and move too much, uh, and they can't see God's hand at work. That's right. Hallelujah. They can't remember what God's doing from because they're doing all the work instead of allowing God to do all the work. Sad, church. You said down in verse 22, the stone which I have set for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that shall give me, I shall surely give a tenth to thee. Oh man, that means when's the last time you gave ten? Come on now, be honest with yourself. When's the last time you paid tenth out of your paycheck? When's the last time you gave tenth of your food to somebody that needed it? When's the last time you gave tenth of your clothes to somebody that may need it? It, it just ain't all about money. Uh, when's the last time you gave tenth of, of your time to God? Amen. Trey. Trey. That's the most important thing. When's the last time you gave tenth? <coughs> you know, God gives us 24 hours a day. And they say our average person, you know, I think it was me and Kay, uh, Gabby, sitting down at school bus, uh, I don't know, eight or nine years ago. Our average person's prayer in the morning is only seven minutes long to God. That's sad. Seven minutes out of the day. Some folks don't do that. Right, I'm looking down to sleep, oh Lord, so will so keep. And that's it. Wake up in the morning, Lord, thank you for this food, thank you for this day, and that's it, go on the right. And God's sitting there saying, man, that's all you got to say to me this morning? Man, come on, I want to what you talk to. Amen. I've got something in store for you. I want to hear from you. Praise God, all I'm here is, Lord, thank you for this day. Well, that's a start. Praise God, but you, later, sooner or later, praise God, a, a baby learns how to talk, but later on, we're going to have some communication. It's going to be asked some questions. I know I, I, I pray every morning when I go to work from the time I leave my house to my job and even on my job when I'm down in the oil pit. <laughs> Praise God. Remembering what He brought me out of. Thanking Him. They're looking at me like I'm nuts. Praise God. Hallelujah. Rents is swinging. Praise God. Oil filters flying. Praise God. If you can't get happy on your job, praise God. Hallelujah. Or driving in your car. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can't get happy in church. That's right. right. Amen. That's sad to say. Some people only want to get happy when they want to be happy. <laughs> well, it was me. Praise God. Something came along and they done made a bargain. with said, oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, 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 I got this. Praise God. Hallelujah. What happened to you? What happened to the fellow? Have you decided to wake up? Wake up. Wake up. I had a different message. God said, no. I, I want you to preach this. When I heard that this morning, I, I was like, oh, you sure? And I got the back here looking at Scripture. Praise God. And, and I got the thing. A rock. A rock in a weary land. Christ, praise God, hallelujah. He had a rock. If anybody had a rock when he was down here, the Son of God. <coughs> a man knew that he, he was on a, a mission. You're on a mission, church. Yeah. You're going to die? Praise God. But you're also helping souls. Not die in vain. You ever stop looking at it? Every time you witness and, and, and help a soul to get saved, that's a soul that's getting out of form. That's a soul that's going to have something providing they don't fall asleep. They pick up the rock and follow Jesus. He said the rock, the Christ Jesus, the, the cross. Pray that. He said every man to pick up his cross and follow Jesus. I've I seen a little article, uh, praise God, and it's just a statue, and I think it's one of the skates shared with me. Only if this poor little girl knew was on this statue. It was a statue of Jesus. Uh, praise God, he was falling down, and they had a cross on him, and a little baby. If a little baby's got a common enough sense to, to know when someone's suffering, uh, to go over and help out, uh, praise God, uh, we should have enough, uh, praise God, of God in us uh, when we see someone suffering, uh, praise God, to help that one out. Amen. But we're not. Church is asleep. Sleeping in something. I thought that was something. I said, Lord, oh, that's what the church needs to be doing. The hour that we live in. There are many, many, praise God, that are suffering. Drugs, alcohol, 
the Persian, praise God, hallelujah. The things of the world uh, got a grip of them, praise God, hallelujah. They're hurting. All they're wanting is somebody just to give them a good hand. Some of them say, I don't want to hear that stuff. I, I tell them anyway. I don't want to hear what they got to say playing that music. I, sometimes they come in there and it blows you out the front seat. <laughs> praise God. I, come in there Friday, a girl come in, a, a young lady, a, praise God. And I got to listen. I said, man, wait a minute. I know that song. Can't really sing that song. I come in the shop and Bob and all of them look at me. I cranked it up. <laughs> God's mercy and God's grace. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. Even I mean, what you listening to? I said, hey, that's something good to listen to. Instead of that stuff they come in there listening to. Uh, some of that stuff they got on that radio when they bring it in there now, I'm like, turn that junk off. <laughs> Man, now, now, now they use foul language and everything else. They don't care. I don't know what they call, kind of singing they call that. But I know it ain't hit pop, rock, pop, whatever they call it. Uh, praise God. How to me? A bunch of junk. Yes. Praise God. That's the trouble. The world yeah. and the church world. So, praise God are listening and eating junk. Right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. But in closing, yes. don't be sleeping. Don't become sluggard. Amen. Don't allow Satan <laughs> to get you, praise God, where you're not awake. You know, sometimes when People praise God when they first wake up in the, in the morning. They're, they're, they're groggy. They got to sit down a little bit and rub their eyeballs to get focused. But you got some men in the morning don't even go around. If they ain't had a cup of coffee, they're like a grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the trouble. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wake up in the morning and give God thanks and praise God. Talk to Him a little bit and then you wouldn't be like a grizzly bear the rest of the day. And people right. are like, man, what's wrong with her today? What's wrong with him today? That's right. Man, what kind of cereal did he eat? <laughs> I'll tell you. Your actions say a lot. Amen. Say a lot. But in closing, we rise up. Rise up in Christ. That's what this world's looking for. You say, you look around you and, and you see there's so so many uh, churches and, and, and so many things going in the world. But you know, you can make a difference. There's a difference in between genuine relationship with Christ and the false. That's right. The Bible said, know those that labor among you. I want to know the ones that labor among me and the ones that I work with that claim to be a child of God, but praise God, when their actions don't line up with the Word of God and, and things fly out of their mouth that ought not be, it makes me stop thinking, Lord, help me. Because that's when you need to start praying, praise God. Right. That's when you need to start putting the uh, uh, Spirit of the Lord uh, in, in your mind and uh, letting Him take control and say, Lord, uh, this ain't right. This ain't right. Let's talk about discernment of the Spirit. There's a lot of spirits going around, but it ain't the right ones. Right. Praise God, hallelujah. You know, uh, Brother Raymond's probably seen it. I, I know I've seen it over the years. You're up there, uh, as long as uh, uh, you're up there uh, trying to do your best and, and preach the truth to him, you got something back there. I ain't going to listen to him. I ain't paying no attention to him. He ain't going to tell me what to do. Yep. Praise God. You know, we got to share it with Mom when we was down, down there the last time. It's, it's a shame, church. When your own, own parent tells you that this is what the Lord was dealing with me about ministering over here. There ain't no one that's too bad once they turn their back on God that God can't restore. Man, man can restore gold, metal, wood. God can restore a soul. A workmanship man uh, here on this earth can't do that. You can't restore, but it's it's sad when you, you tell somebody uh, or they tell you that I done gave gave myself up and I think the Lord's gonna turn me over to a reprobate mom. You know, how, how are you supposed to react to that? You know, the Lord just brought scripture back to me and I just begin to talk to him and tell him and that's when dad was laying in the bed. Somehow we got on a journey. <laughs> This world is not my home, church. I'm just a pilgrim. I'm just passing through. Whether you like me or not. <laughs> Whether you want to see me or not. I'm just passing through, world. This world's not my home. I'm just a pilgrim. Stranger at a land. But you know one thing? 
I've, I've come to learn as I've buried in Christ. I'm the kind of person, Teresa will tell you, I'll tell you the truth a lot about That's why I think some people don't like me. I'm just honest with you. And you know what? The Bible says the truth is set you free. And I prayed when we left there on the way all the way home, Lord, let that soak in. Lord, that she be set free. Y'all ain't seen demon possession before. You don't know. When you're asleep, you better wake up. You better wake up. Amen. Because I'll tell you what, you go ahead, and he said, Peter, I know Paul, no, but yet who, who are you? Right. They recognize you, church. That's right. You sleeping and slumbering and playing around with the Lord, you're in for a rude wake. That's why he said, you'll send, send them back around again to search your heart. And, and if it ain't swept and kept clean, well, how we need to keep our heart clean. Right. He brings seven more spirits with us. Just figure, three's bad enough. One's bad enough. That's right. But seven more? Yes. You take one man, praise God, hallelujah, and he's the meanest, meanest man that there is that you know. Just picture him seven times worse or once. That's right. Something to think about. But you know, it's it's through the love and biting my teeth. Those of your own household are your worst enemies, I would say. Teresa tell you. And I lived over there five minutes. And it was in my face. And I was just sitting there having to bite my teeth. Because if it was the old Jimmy, I probably would have said something or did something I would regret. Yeah, yep. You say the young mother? Oh yeah. Yep. That's what the enemy and the saint would, would love to see. Amen. But you know what? It's through prayer and asking God to help. Right. You know, don't fall asleep. Allow God to get in your heart. Amen. Allow God to that's a soul. You know, everybody's got a soul. If you start looking at people with a soul, saying that's a soul in there. You hate the sin, but you hate the soul. I mean, you hate the sin, but you love the soul. You start looking at people like that, you look at life a lot different. Amen. Because I tell you what, you wasn't no goody goody when you was growing up. I know I wasn't. I had a lot of them praying for me, praise God, laying hands on me when I was younger. Praise God. And I thank God they did. That's the trouble with a lot of these kids today. It's like the old saying goes, touch not, uh, taste not, handle not, the unclean things of the world. That's what they're saying to these kids today. Don't touch not, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Spare not the rod, the Bible told me. There's a difference in between uh, correcting them and beating them. Yeah. Praise God, hallelujah. Right. Sometimes God's got to come along and beat us. <laughs> Correct us, praise God. But I'm standing tonight as close. <coughs> Just stop and think. Have you been carrying your altar? No. Or have you been falling asleep? Yes. 